So this is another if and only if type proof. We are going to work with x in z. So z is some integer, negative 2, 3, 7, something like that. It's in the set z. And we are going to show that x is odd, iff, that means if and only if, the following is true. We're going to show that x is odd if and only if 5x plus 4 is odd. So anytime you see the words if and only if or the uh, biconditional double arrow, that means you really have to prove two different cases. We need to prove that when x is odd, this implies 5x plus 4 is odd. And we also have to go the other way. We have to show that when 5x plus 4 is odd, this implies that x is odd. So we're going to break this down into two cases. For the first case, I'm going to show that when x is odd, this implies that 5x plus 4 is odd. Okay, so let's assume x is odd. What does it mean for x to be odd? That means that x can be written as 2n plus 1 for some n in z. So that's just the definition of an odd number. No matter what n in z, 2 times that number will be an even number. You tack on 1, you get odd. So this is how we always represent odd numbers. So when x is odd, I can always write it this way for some n in the set z. So let's go ahead and do a little computation now if this is the form that x has to be in. Let's compute the quantity 5x plus 4. So I have 5 times x, x though is 2n plus 1, plus 4. This is equal to 10n plus 5 plus 4, just multiplying the 5 through, which obviously is equal to 10n plus 9. But then if you notice down here, I'm going to write 10n plus 9 in kind of a funny way. I'm going to write it as 10n plus 8 plus 1. I haven't changed anything. I've just kind of written 9 as 8 plus 1. And the reason I'm going to do this is because this now lets me factor a 2 out of the first part of this equation. So on the next line, we can write 10n plus 8 as the quantity 2 times quantity 5n plus 4. Again, I haven't changed anything. I've just written it in a different way. And now this has the form of an odd number. We have 2 times some integer, let's just call it k, plus 1. k is in z, so we can actually write the quantity 5x plus 4 as 2k plus 1. Again, this is the general form of an odd number, so what we've done is we have shown that 5x plus 4 is odd. We started off assuming x is odd, we did a simple computation, and we showed that 5x plus 4 also has the form of an odd number, so 5x plus 4 is also odd. All right, so that's, part, that's half of the proof. We've done x odd implies 5x plus 4 odd. To finish the if and only if proof, we have to do the other direction as well. So case two is assume 5x plus 4 is odd and show that this implies that x is odd. And that should actually be a um, 5x plus 4, not 5n plus 4, obviously. So let me get rid of that. Okay, so assuming 5x plus 4 is odd, we want to show that this implies that x is odd. <clears throat> We're going to do this using the contrapositive. So if 5x plus 4 odd implies x is odd, if that's what we want to show, equivalently we could show that when x is even, this implies that 5x plus 4 is even. So if I've, I can show that, that is the same as proving the thing I wanted to prove via the contrapositive. So let's do that. So let's, let's assume that x is not odd, which means that x is even, and then we're going to show that x being even implies that 5x plus 4 is even, and that is logically equivalent to 5x plus 4 odd implying x is odd. So what does it mean for x to be even? That means that I can write x as 2n for some n in z. So x is equal to 2n, and now we can do a computation. I'm assuming that x is even, and I want to show that 5x plus 4 is even. So I compute 5x plus 4, which is 5 times 2n plus 4. If I multiply this out, I get that this is 10n plus 4, which I can write as 2 times the quantity 5n plus 2. I haven't changed anything, which is in the form of 2k. So I have written the quantity 5x plus 4 in the form 2k. 2k is the form of an even number. That is always even because it's always 2 times something. No matter what the something is, 2 times it will always give me an even number. So we've just established that 5x plus 4 is even. So we have done this. We have shown that when x is even, 5x plus 4 is even. That is logically equivalent to 5x plus 4 being odd 
implying x is odd. So we have established the other part of the if and only if proof.